Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well and that you're doing some avid reading among these times. Today is another episode based on the theme of this season, which is books that are also based on movies. Today's book trailer is inspired by a true story, which was made into a movie about Saru Brearley. The movie is called Lion, and it is honestly one of the most excellent movies I've ever seen. However, the book trailer will go over the events in the book, which are slightly different from those in the movie, and the book is called A Long Way Home. The book is written by Saru himself, and chronicles the story of his search for his family that was lost to him from a young age. The protagonist of the novel, as you may guess, is Saru, and the book begins with a short background about his family. Their father had left him as he was a Muslim and was allowed to marry a second time. It was only his mother Fatima, himself, and his three siblings after that. Due to the economic conditions of their family, Saru and his siblings began begging from a very young age, when Saru was only five. He once came along with his brother Gundu on a trip to the train station in the next town over, looking for food or the possibility of work. He had become incredibly tired, so Gundu told him to sleep on a bench while he took care of some more things. When Saru woke up, Gundu was nowhere to be seen, and looking for a more comfortable resting spot, Saru sat inside a train car and fell asleep there. He was locked inside, and when he woke up, he found that the train was in full motion. When the doors finally opened, he realized he had arrived in Calcutta. He struggled to survive on the streets, where many children in similar situations to him had perished. He eventually was found by a kind teenager who took him to the police. Saru, who was scared of the police, thought that the teenager had turned him in, but it was actually the right decision. He was fed and sheltered, and then taken to an adoption center. He was adopted by an Australian couple named Sue and John Brearley. He had been saved from the vicious nature of the streets and had found a kind, loving family to take him in. Saru, though incredibly happy and thankful for his adoptive parents, desired to find his biological parents. He spent hours searching, trying to find a town that he seemed to remember to be called Varanpur and his home called Ganistale. Using Google Earth, he was able to create a search radius, but this process took all his free time and even away from his sleep. Will Saru find his biological parents? Will he ever be at peace? Read to find out and join this heartwarming journey. For me, I really loved reading the book as well as watching the movie. Saru's story was incredibly inspiring, and I think he truly had the strength and heart of a lion who did whatever it took to survive and return to his family. This book is full of inspiration, truth, hope, love, friendship, family, loss, happiness, courage, strength, and is truly a book that I would recommend. Thank you for listening. I implore you to soar.